Welcome to this unit overview. During this unit, we will be talking about environmental health. So firstly, we will be discovering types of environmental health hazards. We have biological, social, chemical, and lastly, we have physical. So biological, which is viruses, bacteria, and other organisms that cause disease. Social, which is lifestyle choices that endanger health. Chemical, which are harmful artificial and natural chemicals in the environment. Physical, which technically means natural disasters and ongoing natural phenomena such as UV radiation that can cause health problems. Then we will be exploring the concept of epidemiology, the study of disease in human populations, how and where they occur and how they can be controlled. Often involves studying large groups over long periods, can determine statistical associations between health hazards and effects, but can't prove the hazard actually caused the effect. Toxicology, on the other hand, which is the study of how poisonous substances affect an organism's health. Toxicity is a measure of how harmful a substance is. Toxicologists look at toxicity by determining dose-response relationships. Moving after that, we have the individual responses. Sensitivity to hazards varies with age, sex, weight, and immune system health. Many diseases have genetic as well as environmental factors. Then we have the concept of risk assessment. Risk, which is the probability that a hazard will cause harm. Risk assessment, the process of measuring the risk takes into account the type of hazard, how frequently humans will be exposed to it, how sensitive people are to it. Then we have this concept of biological and social hazards, basically focusing on infectious diseases. So infectious diseases are caused by pathogens. They spread by human and animal contact and through contaminated food and water. Cause of almost half of all deaths in developing nations, covering your mouth when you cough, washing your hands often, and staying home from school if you're sick help prevent the spread of infectious diseases. We have then the concept of emerging diseases. Diseases appearing in the human population for the first time or suddenly beginning to spread rapidly. Humans have little or no resistance and no vaccines have been developed. That's the case that happened with COVID-19. Facilitated by increasing human mobility, growing antibiotic resistance and environmental changes. Responding to emerging diseases. World Health Organization monitors health events worldwide and coordinates international responses to emerging diseases. Centers of for Disease Control and Prevention responds to emerging diseases in the United States. The CDC developed pandemic plans to deal with the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Then moving after that, we have the social hazards. Some social hazards are easier to avoid than others. Examples of social hazards include smoking, being exposed to secondhand smoke, living near an all toxic wayside, working with harmful chemicals and eating fatty foods. Chemical hazards. Any chemical can be harmful in large enough amounts. A pollutant is something released into the environment that has some harmful impact on people and other organisms. Chemical hazards are not necessarily pollutants and pollutants are not necessarily to be chemically hazard. Types of chemical hazards, we have carcinogens, which cancer causing chemical, chemical mutations, which chemicals that cause genetic mutation, teratogens, which chemicals that can harm embryos and fetuses, neurotoxins, which are chemicals that affect the nervous system. Then we have the endocrine disruptors, which chemicals that interfere with the endocrine system and allergens, chemicals that overactivate the immune system. So we have here indoor chemical hazards. We have, for example, um, 
formaldehyde pollutant, which technically is uh, in the 